Howdy, my name is Ethan Harris, and I am joined by Ashraf Khan. We are from Texas A&M University, and today we will present our solution for the 2021 Geo Prediction Challenge. In this presentation, we will give our estimation of the settlement of an existing structure due to dewatering. A special thanks to our advisor, Dr. Anand Pupala, for his guidance this year. During the construction of the excavation support system, water needs to be pumped out of the site. This will lower the groundwater level. The lowering of the groundwater level will increase vertical stress of the clay layer. The increase in the vertical stress may lead to consolidation settlement. Our analysis of the problem began with a study of the given background information. Figure one shows the location of three boreholes. The data from these were used to determine the soil profile of the site. Additionally, the settlement measurement location at the top right of the existing building gives information about consolidation of the soil prior to dewatering. Other information, such as area of the excavation site and bearing pressure from the existing mat building foundation were considered. Lastly, Table A shows the pumping schedule for the excavation site. As mentioned previously, the main goal of this challenge is the determination of settlement in the existing building after 150 and 285 days. This was accomplished in five steps. First, the drawdown height of the water level must be determined. Second, the change in effective stress from the lowering water must be found. Thirdly, the ultimate consolidation of the building is calculated. Fourth, the determination of the degree of consolidation. Lastly, the final determination of the settlement after 150 and 285 days. Settlement prediction began with a number of assumptions. The natural ground was assumed to be flat without hills or valleys, and the water, water table was taken to be eight feet below the ground surface. For all analysis, the average layer thickness of the soil was used, and all consolidation was from dewatering and not construction. Lastly, the coefficient of consolidation is taken as an average of existing data for black cotton soil. The following sections of the presentation will be discussed by Ashraf Khan. Thank you, Ethan. So we had three boreholes, B1, B2, and B3. Based on the information, we have actually drawn the soil profile. We got four distinguished soil layers, field, soft clay, gravel, and rock. One of the most important soil layer for our analysis was the soft clay layer. And one of the most important parameter uh, was the permeability. We assumed the permeability for the soft clay layer was very low, which was 0 0.002 feet per day. Whereas the permeability for the gravel layer was 60 feet per day, which is very high. And we are assuming uh, this layer will act as a drainage layer. We also observed that the thickness of the layer are not the same. It varies with distance. So we have to take the average thickness of layer for our analysis. The next major task was to determine the compression index of the soft clay layer. We know the vertical stresses acting on the top of the mat foundation. It was 1,520 PSA. We also know the total consolation settlement was 29.5 inches. We have used the Navy manual charts to get the vertical stress increase at the mid depth of the clay layer. And also we know the vertical stresses acting on this layer. Based on this information, we use the one dimensional theory of consolidation to get the compression index. And we found that the compression index for this soil was 0 0.43. This information is very useful for our future analysis. The next major task was to determine the height of drawdown. To determine the height of drawdown, we need to know the radius of influence R, which is capital R showing in this figure, which depends on the average depth of aquifer and combined hydraulic conductivity. We estimated that the average depth of aquifer was 30.7 feet, 
and the combined hydraulic conductivity was 17.6 feet per day. We estimated that the radius of influence is equal to 501 feet. Now, we actually estimate the discharge of the pumping location based on the given information and the change in water level within, with a particular time. So we, uh, we got that the discharge is 365.8 cubic meter per day. Based on this information, we can actually estimate the head of water at any desired location. So our desired location was under the mat foundation, which is 156 feet away from the pumping location. And we estimated that the head of water was 2.7 meter. So the height of drawdown was three meter, which is equivalent to 9.8 feet. Now we know the depth of drawdown as well as the compression index of the soft tail layer. Based on this information, we can actually estimate the ultimate settlement due to drawdown. We have estimated the vertical stress increase. It will be around 611.5 PSF. Also, another important information is that due to the change in water level, the effective depth of the clay layer will also change. We got the ultimate settlement for the clay layer will be 4.6 inches. Now we know the total settlement. We can also estimate the settlement at any particular time. To determine the settlement for any particular time, we need to know the coefficient of consolidation. Based on this value, we can actually estimate the time factor. Based on the time factor, we have seen that for 150 days, it will be 0.02 and the corresponding degree of consolidation will be 16%. We estimated that the settlement after 150 days will be 0.7 inch. Similarly, we estimated the time factor after 285 days, that will be 0.04 and corresponding settlement will be 0.96 inch. However, we have observed that there will be increase in water level between 225 to 285 days. Due to the increase in water level, there will be decreasing effective stress. Due to the decrease in effective stress, uh, there will be a reduction in the total settlement after 285 days. Based on our estimation, we observed that the reduction will be 15%. And that is the reason we are we are reporting a reduced settlement of 0.9 inch after 25 days. So our prediction results are shown in table C. We observed that the maximum settlement after 150 days will be 0.7 inch, and after 25 days, it will be 0.9 inch. We only considered the settlement due to the dewatering. We didn't consider any other construction activities or any uh, ground movement. That's all from us. If you have any question, feel free to contact us. Our email addresses are given here. I would like to thank you for your time and I hope you enjoy the rest of the events of IFCEE 2021 conference. Thank you.